Hello, people. Ehead. Dylan Thompson says. Ehead. Ehead's all over the place. You guys really love these e-bike videos. We're gonna keep putting them out. Some people like to watch videos every single day. Some people don't like to wait a week to see someone's videos. So, I am here. I am here for you. So far, so good on this bike. We've been 72 volt for a few months. And our stock belt still holding up. We're doing pretty good. We are moving. <laughs> Man, we just started. We're already hella moving. You guys should hear me a lot better now. I've removed the insert from my helmet. It just wasn't working out. I'm also thinking of moving my GoPro to a different position on my helmet just to try something new. I'll do it one of these days, not now though. Holy crap, that was a big ass pothole. It's so funny, every time I make a, uh, I make a video and I'm like, I'm like, hey, uh, is this bike an e-bike or a motorcycle? And it's always 50-50, everything's all over the place. Some people say it's a motorcycle, some, say, some people say it's an e-bike. And uh, honestly to me, it's an electric bike. It's a, it's a bicycle with a motor on it. It is faster, it's, it's actually more considered a moped. But, um, what people don't understand is a lot of people say, Oh, it has over 750 watts of power and it goes over 28 miles an hour. Honestly, like even mountain bikes, electric bikes are like 2,000 watts, 4,000 watts. Um, but the thing is, you, if you stay in the bike lane and you do 28 miles an hour, you're a bike. You go on the street like I am, then yes, you probably should register your, your bike. Don't, don't be like me. Oh, it's clean. Don't be like me. You know, I'm just always riding my bike like in the middle of the road, not caring about anything. Hopefully I'm not getting caught. But hey, if you want to do stuff like I'm doing, all you need is a Suron. And honestly, you don't even need the battery. The battery is really for range. I mean, you do get some torque, but just get the controller, guys. I'm telling you, just get a BAC4 controller, a BAC4000. <laughs> I don't know why I said four. And uh, you're good to go. You can hit 60 miles an hour all day long. You'll be perfectly fine. And if you just see a cop, just merge over in the bike lane. Just hopefully you're not like how I am. Like say I'm in the, I'm in the fast lane. Well, should be fast lane, not right now. But um, if I'm in this lane right now and a cop pulls up behind me, I can't really say I'm a bike. It's hard, it would hard, be hard because I'm not close to the bike lane whatsoever. I could try to say I was over here because I'm trying to turn onto another street. But you can do that. That is legal to do. Oh, we better make this. But I would just say stick to the, stick closer to the bike lane. right now and all of a sudden I see like a cop uh, pull out of this thing and he gets right behind me. I'm just going to slowly go a little slower, not make it too obvious and I'm just going to start riding the bike lane or close to it and start out. If the cop ever pulls you over, just tell him, hey, there's an off-road mode and there's an on-road mode. You know, there's like an e-bike mode and then you can be off-road and it goes a lot faster. And uh, just say, I don't know, you're on your way to work, being late or something. Hopefully you get a cool crowd, just be respectful and uh, pray for the best. I think in New York, New York, they're uh, crushing bikes, apparently. That's what I was told. So we'll talk up here a little bit because it might be pretty windy. Yeah, 
yeah, so uh, I saw John Angel post up some videos and all this kind of stuff, and it was saying what's legal and what's not. And if you do have pedals on your bike, you're cool. So if you do get a sir on, get some pedals. Just just do it. I mean, unless you're rock climbing, you're going off road, you're not using it in the street, then by all means, pegs are way better, more superior than pedals. But that's what I highly suggest. But yeah, they're crushing bikes, I guess, in New York, confiscating them and crushing them. But my thing is, if they crush those bikes with the batteries in them, uh, they're going to have a huge fire. So I don't know if they're removing all these batteries because if they're confiscating them, then they don't have the keys to remove some of the batteries that have locks on them. I don't know how they're crushing them. That's just what I've heard. So I don't know. Who knows? Who knows what's like fully, fully going on. But that's one thing I wouldn't want to happen. I don't want to get my shit impounded for like 30 days. suck ass I'm just hoping I if I do anything I get a ticket for riding a modified e-bike or something like that you know and hopefully I don't get caught going fast and they just say like oh you're riding in the street when you should be in the bike lane one of the guys here he has a oh my god does he have a is it a unicycle I think it's a unicycle and uh, I swear, I think he just got a ticket. And I'm, I'm not kidding. I think he got a ticket for uh, not signaling when he was uh, going somewhere or something like that on a unicycle. I'm like, oh my god, dude. Like, like what the hell? Like, so you can mean to tell me, like, on a bike, not like this, I'm in the street. But if I was in the bike lane and all this kind of stuff, I need to signal, like, every single, like, where I go. I was, I was moving pretty good too, but I would only got it if I passed the car that's pulling up next to me right now. But we did it. Oh, I thought that was my bike. I heard some squeaking going on. I was like, oh my God, talking about the belt being good. I thought the belt was about to snap or something, but that was that guy's car next to me. Scared the crap out of me right now. So, I talked to my buddy uh, Donnie, he's the other one that has a Suron just like me. He has no mods done to it or anything like that other than like some tires and uh, I think the, the basics of it. He put pedals on his too. Um, we're trying to figure out a way to get his bike down to uh, Lemoore or Hanford. And if we can do that, then we'll start riding some other places. So I could bring my Suron on my bike rack and uh, get all that done. Just to, you know, just so we can ride different places. I would say uh, Kerman, because Kerman's pretty close. Well, to me anyway, but he lives in Clovis, so the ride out to Kerman for him would probably be like close to an hour. Oh, the wind is strong. So uh, I think I'm gonna hit up my buddy Donnie. Oh God, I gotta make this before all this traffic comes. I'm gonna hit up my buddy Donnie, and uh, I want to see if he wants to buy the Supermoto wheels and tires. The only thing I probably uh, don't want to get rid of is the chain because uh, I am planning on getting another set. I think it does come with a chain though, so maybe I could give it to him. But anyways, I want to order a new set of Supermoto wheels, and when they come in, I just want to put my rotors and all that stuff on those that's already off the bike, get all that set up. And uh, then we'll have a brand new chain also. And I think I'm just gonna tell them 250 bucks for these Supermoto wheels and tires. Come with obviously the brake rotors and all that stuff. And see what he says. I think he'll do it. Oh, damn, it's not open. I honestly think he'll do it. I think a new set off of uh, Luna Cycles is 
410 bucks, but then after shipping and stuff, I think it's 450. So I'd be out 200 bucks, but I'll get brand new rims, brand new tires, new rotors again, even though I'm gonna swap them to something else, but I'll have brand new ones, you know, that I'll take off, I can use in emergency. Then we'll have a brand new chain. So I think it's worth it instead of getting a uh, tire separately. And I'm gonna spend, I think it's 125 bucks on two tires and then I need to use a pry bar and I need to take them off and then these tires are just going to go in the trash but they're not bald trust me they're not so yeah we'll see if Donnie takes me up on that offer because I do want him to be on some street tires but I don't think he likes how small the 17s are and I think he just put the Shimano 241s on his uh, 19 inch rims that the dirt tires come on so he might not want them but I know his brother has one too we have now three in town that get together and ride. But anyways, hopefully you guys like that video ride in the work. Honestly, I'm not going to record anything at night. Well, I'm going to record at night just in case something happens. And I'll, I'll include it if something really bad happens. But for the most part, I'm not trying to uh, make this video super long. So if anything happens at night, maybe I'll put it in there real quick towards the end. But for now, peace out. See you guys in the next video. I'm not going to have a night video for tonight. Later.